going to love that. New York time. Uh, my flight, I didn't make it to my flight, so I got to stay in New York. Now I gotta get my sheet on. So I got my confirmation. I'm going to the Hilton. And I hope I take I think I'm gonna go and exercise before I go to sleep. So I can get very tired. Because I'm probably gonna get dead like again. But um, it's 7 o'clock. It is 7 o'clock, so. Tomorrow I have to be here at 6.30 latest because I have to check my bags. Um, I have to do laundry. I have no socks. It's pretty bad. I don't have any food or anything because it's fucking... I had to wake up at 5.30 to get to... Um, to get here. Um, I'm in New York now. I need to take another flight to Chicago and I may finally will make it to Chicago. And I'm really happy because I was able to get the rose um, perfume that I wanted. This smells like red roses. It smells beautiful. This is gonna be my my perfume forever. Roses for Thunder Rosa. Ah, what's up? So yeah, we have one week in Chicago today. I have to book flights for Mission Pro and uh, some other stuff. Uh, laundry. I have a lot of laundry to do. The flight got delayed yesterday, so I couldn't make it to Chicago, which is fine. I slept really well. Uh, finally, I had a good night's sleep. I don't feel jet lagged, which is really good. So I'm back on United States time, so. Yeah. Who would have thought that I was going to come back to JFK again? So, whatever. Good morning. In Chicago. Oh shit. I don't even know where I'm going. An interesting place here. I'm in Humboldt uh, Park, but it's my first time here. Been in Chicago so many times. This is the actual first time that I'm chilling somewhere where it's not a hotel nearby the airport. And I'm in the neighborhood. I'm gonna be hanging out here with a couple of peeps. We're doing some activities today with some of the girls. I'm excited. I get some girl time. Which I never do. So that's gonna be fun. And, oh. I decided to wake up early because I have busted open today. So I didn't have to do busted open last week and then have me do it this week twice. So I wanted to wake up early, get a little run, and get ready. You know, a lot of my vlogs, I'm alone. I told you guys, spent a lot of time on myself, but it's good. So you have to be comfortable with being alone. Oh, I got to do other stuff though. And rest. So I'm like, I'm arrested. That ass picture is my yeah. ass. That's gonna be the teaser for sure. We'll put the emojis over. Oh yeah. Bye guys. That's what I got. <laughs> I'm going to freelance tomorrow and I'm here with my really good friends from a long, long time, Jack, Becky Diaz, and his uh, wife, Lainey Love, who's one of my favorite opponents, yeah. and a big ass, <laughs> and they're going to school me right now, because I'm trying to get back on wrestling, so <laughs> can you guys close please again? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a wife with an ass, you don't see that very well. <laughs> <laughs>
my little brother here. We're about to get on this thing at the Navy Pier. I haven't done this in ever and never. I don't ever. I don't. I don't think I ever did this. So. I think it's like 30 minutes or 20, like 20 minutes. Okay. Here with my brother Jordan. Hello. You said, what did you say about the editor? Buried me in the last one. Said I got no problem. That ain't. It was true. He, he still remembers everything. Yeah. Jordan is out there. He's about to die, right? Oh. I die. We love you, Jordan. Okay, no problem. He's gonna die. So we are here at the Navy Pier, which is like, this is the perfect time to come because you get to see the sun. Oh, it looks so cool. This is great. The views are absolutely breathtaking. Awesome. This is where I get it. What? This is where I get it. Oh, he's getting antsy. That's all right. <laughs> what? No, he's five. You were five? I was not five. No, no you were ten. ten. Thirteen years ago. I, was I came here thirteen years ago. Sunday. So that looks so fucking dope. Ryan Keith was Mike Bailey at the end of last year. Absolute banger if you had a party. Mike Bailey? Speak on Mike Bailey? I love him. Shout out. Him and Brian Keith put on an absolute classic. But as you can see right now, they're starting very classic, very strong, you know, lock up, hand lock. But, the, you know, it's almost like a sign of respect, right? Because they don't want to go too hard, too quick at each other. I mean, they could if they wanted to, but I think it's, it is very important in every match, guys. Like, the, the tell a really good story, especially for a championship match. It's not just like, your typical, let's get together and let's have a match, right? right I right. think that Brian has to show his, his capabilities and his abilities as a champion. And also, Jordan has to show that he can hang with him. Oh, absolutely, you know, so Jordan Ivey, he he's one of the best up-and-coming young talents. You know, he's lost, he's been on a little bit of a losing streak outside of Freelance. He, you know, for GCW, lost the tag titles with Nick Wayne. And JCW, I believe he just recently lost his world, his world title. So he's looking to reclaim some gold, take something back home with him well, to the East Coast. What a better way that to try to reclaim, you know, superiority by stepping in the ring with Brian King. for Busted Open and I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can only see him. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm here at the signing in StarCast in Chicago and I am with 
Angie, Angie, Richie, Richie. 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 and then as you can see, they have a picture of us. Detroit. So you guys, who you guys came to see today? You. Oh, Hold on. Hold on. Look at this tent to see you. Wow. Oh my God, are you guys coming tomorrow or? Yes, we'll be at Collision and we'll be at all. Oh. What are you guys excited? Hello. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So what do you guys uh, think about our set up? Awesome. Cool. Super fun. Thank you. All of us. Best of fans. You guys are going to love the United Center. I love the United Center. I'm like, well, I can go by the back and I can go like, you know, go to the roots and stuff. But oh, you guys are here. Thank you. We are too. So you guys are going to bust it open all the time? Every day. Monday through Friday and Saturday. What's your favorite thing about bust it open? <laughs> Probably the master classes and um, listening. Just, you know, like, every day. I don't know. I listen to it every day. I listen to every day at work. I even. love Dave's friends. Yes, they're the best. Everybody loves David's friends. I even love them. We, I love to go on our rent with them on Friday. We would rile each other up. It's the best thing. So I hope you guys have fun. Thank you. And enjoy the whole night. It's going to get crazier. Thank you. All right, what's your name again, honey? My name is John Patel, and I drove nine hours. From what state did you drive from? Mississippi. Why did you drive for? I drove here to meet Thunder Rosa. There you go. That's that's what love does to people. They drive nine hours. I love Thunder Rosa. And he gets a big hug. Oh, thank you. Why do you why do you like the vlog so much? I I just love the vlog because Thunder Rosa is fire. <laughs> All right, I'm here with what's your name? What's your name? Vic. Vic? Vic. Vic. Say, say Vic. 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 And talk about your mustache, please. Mustache, I've had it for years. I, I use beeswax, which seems to be the, better than any mustache wax I've, I've found. Do you dress up like in the 1920s just to like make it fit? Or no, no, no? I, that's, I just, this is how I look every day. And where did you come up with this? Like I, what day, like you say, I'm just gonna help oh, like grow it? And many, like, many years ago. Oh. So, okay, guys, I just want you to be honest and put it on the comments. Whose message is better, his or my father's? Papa, Papa Mario, Papa, Papa Rosa. Put it in the comments. We would like to know. Got it. All right, yeah. I'm here with my friend. What's your name? Kevin Zoramski. Kevin Zoramski. And he just told me the greatest story of perseverance. Like, I was feeling sorry for myself. Like, I have nothing oh, to feel sorry about no. anything. Tell, tell our vloggers, like, what you've been through with your health and, like, and your perspective about life. Absolutely. So, about two years ago, roughly, I had a massive amputation on my left foot from a type 1 diabetes diagnosis. I was diagnosed at 47 years old, which is less than 10 percent of people over the age of 18 are diagnosed yes and so i've just been fighting through and keeping a positive attitude and, and just developing and watching great folks like thunder yeah wrestling has been one of my godsons and just keeping me happy and 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 just understanding that the world's there and yes we can be happy and just, just never give up and he said something very important you kept living life right you took your kids to like uh you know, we went to disney. Dis i went to disneyland in a wheelchair for christmas and walking walked around toronto for the, the first time doing massive walking and i'm just, I'm just doing it no nope, yeah. nothing's gonna stop so what 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 is one thing you will tell people that are struggling out there and are watching this vlog don't give up um every day is a new day don't worry about the day before don't don't think about what happened just persevere keep your upper upper lip up and smile and just just, just do it don't let anything stop you thank you thank you for sharing you're welcome all right you're on the vlog you gotta say when was the last time we saw each other a long time ago i don't remember but all i know it's been a while it's been a while so so a while that you have four figures for me to say I didn't have the fingers when I was in Warriors, or? Not all of them, no. I got them afterwards. And then we got the brand new one, too, that just came out. If you haven't got it, Ringside or Walmart, you can find it there. Yes. Um, you miss me too. I know, I know. I miss you guys, too. That was so much fun. I was remembering all the good memories that we had, the good matches that we had. Uh-huh. Yep. Yes. Now, hopefully you're back soon. Anybody else want to do one of those? Sure. I'm going to tell you the we have heels, uh, hosting Rampage, so for those of you who are watching Rampage, thank you very much. But first I want to invite my fellow heels team that's here today. First up we have Amanda Hubert, who's like my best friend. Oh, this feels like my, my sanity here. And then also, a special guest today we have, Thunder Rosa! Hey! 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 Hey!
I'm vlogging. Of course I'm vlogging. Say hi to the vlog, everyone. Rod Silla. I feel like we want to talk to him, big guy. It's great to be back to Chicago. I know. All the things that's been going on in this place. There you go. All the things that's been going on. What are you doing here in AEW? Okay, I'm, I'm here on day two over at StarCast. Here with. Luis from You Are More 988 on Instagram. So tell me, you were just telling me a little bit more about what you guys do in terms of raising money for suicide prevention, right? Yeah, so we started off as an affirmation page, posting content to help people feel and remind themselves that you are more than a stigma. So meaning we can overcome depression, anxiety, PTSD together. If you want to be part of this and you would like to um, you know, help raise money for suicide prevention, where should they contact you? So just go to youaremore988.com and you can make a purchase. Shirts and hoodies coming soon. There you go, you are more. We're ready. You ready? We introduce the magician right here. What's your name to my vloggers? Calvin Tan. Calvin Tan. And he, the magic Jordan. Man. The magic man. And Jordan was like so excited, right, Jordan? I'm very excited. Okay. Okay. There's the holy grail of magic tricks for card magicians. It's called any card at any number where somebody would name a card and someone would name a number and would reveal down the number of cards and that card would be at the number. So we're going to do that, but a little differently. I have a deck of cards here. You can see that they're all different. Right? And on the back of them, I actually wrote numbers. Oh. So there's different numbers on all the cards, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, I'm going to name a number and you're going to tell me what card has that number on the back of it. Okay? Okay. So out of all these cards, uh, let's say number 27. What card has number 27 on the back of it? Four of hearts. Four of hearts. So you four. You can change your mind if you want. No, four of hearts. Four of hearts. Let's look for the four of hearts. There's the four of hearts, and you're sure that has number 27 on the back of it? Yes. Out of all the numbers? Yes. Okay. We'll look at the back of the four of hearts. No! No! <laughs> Dude, I just saw a wizard. What? There's a wizard here. Where did you see a wizard? What? Right here. Oh, what? Right yes. <laughs> uh, left hand out flat. I'm going to give you one, two, three, four solid silver coins. Mm -hmm. With your right hand, just stack them up in a nice neat stack for me. Yep, good. And leave your hand open this time. Leave your hand open. All right, so you can see four coins there. Four. Um, so this time, Mm -hmm. uh, with your right hand, two fingers like this. Instead of pretending, mm -hmm. I want you to actually take the top coin by the edges and actually put it in my hand. Yep, and then close your hand. Okay. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Did you actually take the coin and actually put it in my hand or do you pretend to take the coin and put it in my hand? I didn't pretend, I put it in You actually hand. did. Yes. Watch, ready? Mm -hmm. Open up your hand. Bro, no, I'm not up in shit. <laughs> How many coins do you have? That's four! I put that on his hand. On my mama. I did. <laughs> wow. One, what? two, three, four. I put the coin on his hand. This is not, this is unbelievable. Va a intentar la primera caída. ¿Cuánto va a durar la lucha de campana a campana? Y más, puedes ganar hasta 25 mil dólares en premio.
Suárez. Good morning, everybody. So I decided to um, go karaoke in Chicago yesterday, and <laughs> I don't know. It's so it's been a really rough two weeks for my voice. I I am going to be taking care of it this week by sleeping and making sure that this is intense. This is like so many immigrants. They come to centers and they're just dropping them here, so they're giving them extra sense of um, I'm gonna go and sit down and then I'll finish this video. I can't even walk. I have way too much stuff.